Hey there, Pat here. I just got into Phoenix from Toronto where we were playing a test series against the Japanese national team. And I have some footage of our game from Thursday night. And I wanted to just pull out a few clips and show you. Uh, they're all uh, clips of long passes or what might have been long passes. And, uh, you know, with Team Canada, I play with Nick Gonchin. It's not unlike playing with Steve Serio with the Knicks. Um, I always have it in the back of my mind that those guys might take off. And um, so when a shot goes up and I'm anywhere close to getting the rebound, um, that uh, sort of light goes off in my head. I should look up and be prepared for these guys taking off. So it happened a few times in, in that game. And um, a couple of times uh, I executed the outlet pass and in one particular time I didn't. So let's look at it. So in that clip, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing really spectacular happened. The ball kind of came in my area and there was no defender around. I gathered it, sent it to Nick, and he missed the layup. It does happen to all of us. Cut to that clip. It happens. So on this next clip, it starts out in a similar way. Shot goes up, I'm in the rebounding area, Nick takes off. Unfortunately, and this is a very basic point, but uh, I fail to box out. I'm in good rebounding position, and I think I had a sense that there's defenders around, but for some reason, fatigue or just lack of focus, um, I just sort of let the ball drop towards me and thought I was just going to stick my hand out, it was going to land in it, I was going to square up, send the ball to Nick. Um, but the defender comes around, pokes it away. We still ended up with possession, but that's not, doesn't matter for uh, what we're talking about here. So a very simple play that I messed up. It was a chance just to make a straightforward, good play and have probably an automatic two points. And uh, I left those points on the board because I didn't do a very, very fundamental thing, which is box out for one, I guess two things, boxing out and um, going up with two hands and securing the rebound with a little bit of uh, intensity or force. And uh, ironically, earlier in the week, I'd been talking to our team because we're not a very tall team. And I uh, noticed that we're we were uh, a little bit soft with our rebounding. We were trying to sort of finesse rebounds to ourselves or to our teammates, tipping the ball to ourselves, tipping the ball to open space. There's a time and place for that, but I thought we needed to correct it uh, somewhat by being more aggressive. So good message, I think it was an appropriate one. And then I go out and do something soft like that and lose two points. But there's one more clip the one in which I redeemed myself. And uh, it's a similar play. Um, Nick takes off, shot goes up, or I think the shot goes up first before he takes off, but sometimes I'm not sure. Anyway, Nick takes off, shot goes up, <laughs> or the other way around. And uh, I do a better job here of keeping my chair between uh, the basket and uh, the opponent's chair. <laughs> If I were going to quibble with this a little bit, I'd say I should probably maybe back up and uh, catch a piece of his chair for one. Um, but, uh, and the pass is not the greatest pass ever. Nick makes a nice pickup, I would say, on the one hop and takes it in and finishes his layup this time. Um, but a better example of uh, being aware of where that opponent is as I'm securing the rebound. And, uh, and then, uh, it's Tom Brady time from there. So there you go. A uh, good excuse to show you a couple fun clips from Team Canada. And uh, hopefully reinforcing something that we all need to remember, which is just to box out, 
rebound hard, take care of those, uh, those basics. And because, uh, you know, you make the good plays more often than the other guys, and things are usually going to go well for you. So uh, take care. See you next week.